Pipi. Pipi. Der. Mmh. Ah, move yourself. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm restocking, Vaughn. Ah. <laughs> do you have to do that now? Well, the thing is, I'm on a bit of a hot streak at the moment. I can't seem to turn a corner without someone shagging me. <laughs> what if somebody comes in? Well, there's enough for everyone. <laughs> ah. There you go. Why don't you try some glow-in-the-dark specials? That'll grab Bryony's attention when she turns the light out. Turn your dick into a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> you could be Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> no, thank you. Unlike you, I don't have to resort to childish gimmicks to impress my girlfriend. Fair enough. But I think you'll agree there's nothing childish about that. <laughs> Would you just put them away? Vaughan, well, you really ought to keep one handy for the office piss-up tonight. And it is not an office piss-up. It is the marketing director's team-building initiative. Same difference, Vaughan. Can we just concentrate on the job in hand, please? All right, we'll carry on. Just wake me up before lunchtime when you're finished, will you? I am absolutely shattered. These little babies don't feel themselves, you know. How are you getting on with your product profiling, Maggie? Need any help? What? Uh, yes, no. Um, Vaughan, it, it's coming along. I'm really rather busy at the moment. You're in that damn chat room again, aren't you? Oh, uh, I might be. You're talking to Tiger or whatever he calls himself, aren't you? So what if I am? But you don't know anything about him. Vaughan, I know everything about him. I've told him secrets I've never told anyone before. Maggie, you're becoming obsessed. Vaughan, I really think this could be the start of something special. Oh, look. He sent me flowers. <laughs> Isn't that the most romantic thing? And what if this dream man of yours turns out to be some randy 13-year-old? No problem, I can wait. <laughs> Look, Maggie, Maggie, Bryony and I have started going to this great new dance class on a Thursday night. Oh. No, 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 it's a really good laugh. And there's loads of single guys there. You should join us. Vaughan, it's really not my scene. No, 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 it's a really good place to meet somebody. But I've already met someone. No, Maggie, that's just the point. You haven't met him. Now, listen up, everyone. I am the bearer of some very distressing news. One of our marketing colleagues from the ninth floor has suffered a near fatal heart attack. Mm. Who, sir? Some chap called Pinkerton. Oh, well, when did this happen? Oh, about an hour ago. Apparently, he just collapsed over the photocopier. Oh. Poor chap ran off 200 copies of his left nostril before they found him. <laughs> uh, would you put that on the latest board, please, Julia? OK, sir. <laughs> now, Pinkerton is only 42. What happened to him will serve as a graphic reminder to us all to live life to the full. We must seize the moment before it's too late. Yes. OK, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Do you know, Bob, I've never slept with Siamese twins. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? Mm. Well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind sharing your organ, sir. They're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they give great head. <laughs> Catching up with all a little later. Oh, I've been thinking about what the marketing director said about seizing the moment. Go on. So I've asked Tiger to join me for lunch. What? Oh, well, just make sure you don't end up being main course. Oh, Vaughan, this is serious. He's cancelled all of his meetings and accepted. And what if you don't fancy him? So what have I got to lose? If we're not suited, I don't ever have to see him again. It's only a lunch. Well, I suppose so. So, how are you going to recognise him? Big teeth and stripes. Don't be silly, Vaughan. He'll be carrying his copy of the Financial Times. I'll probably turn the same colour when we meet. Oh, boy, hey, I'm don't so... worry. He'll just be as nervous as you are. Come here, come here. <sighs> I think you're mad. But listen, good luck with it. Oh, thanks, Vaughan. I really think this could be it. You uh, wanted to see me, sir? Yes, in you slide, Bob. <laughs> I've been thinking more about our little chat this morning, Bob. Life is, after all, very fleeting, and there are a few facets of my character that I've yet to fully explore. I find that very hard to believe, sir. <laughs> you know Pinkerton well? Not really, sir. I gather his friends call him Pinky. <laughs> Do they, sir? I presume that means he's gay. <laughs> or a good friend of Perky, sir. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it will be like to be, um, 
gay? <laughs> I, uh, I can't say that I have, sir. Although I must confess to certain lesbian leanings. <laughs> well, I thought I might give it a try. Join the Navy, as it were. <laughs> I'm sure you'll make an excellent Rear Admiral, sir. <laughs> Perhaps you may care to come aboard, Bob. You could be my first seaman. <laughs> I'm uh, feeling a little bit queasy, actually, sir. Permission to jump ship? <laughs> Don't rush into any decision, Bob. Mullet over. I shall be gay all week. Can I help you? Uh, I'm, I'm meeting a friend of mine. Oh, I <laughs> think that might be him over there. Hello, Tiger. Hello, Chipmunk. <laughs> Telling me it was you all along. Yes. This must rate as the most appalling thing you've ever done to us. Oh, it's just a bit of fun, Vaughan. You wouldn't believe the shit she told me. <laughs> that wasn't shit. That was her innermost secret. Whatever. Do you know she always wanted to be a ballerina? I mean, can you imagine her as the sugar plum fairy? <laughs> like a hippo in a tutu. Oh, you are despicable. Vaughan, stop overreacting. We're just playing. It's like cowboys and Indians. She rustles my cattle, I burn down her village. Well, it's what we do. Yeah, well, you make sure she doesn't scalp you, mate. Hey, 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 hey. Do you want to hear about her first sexual encounter? That is disgusting. I don't want to go there. Do you know that's exactly what he said? <laughs> proposition uh, I have sir and I'm still really not interested <laughs> but it's only the buggery I'm after Bob we wouldn't have to bother with the musicals I'm really sorry to let you down sir but you know, there are plenty of other fags in the packet <laughs> evening sir evening what about Vaughny for instance what do you think he's um well, I wouldn't be surprised sir he's almost halfway there with Bryony <laughs> Well, wish me luck, Bob. I feel like a teenager all over again. Bottoms up, sir. <laughs> all right, Maggie. Kiss and make up. No, thank you. Oh, come on, give us a little smile. Get off. It's the team bonding evening, for God's sake. Have a drink with me, because I'm going clubbing in a minute. I'd rather not, thanks. Maggie, just one. It's not going to kill you. Bob, if you really want me to forgive you, I think I'm going to need a proper drink. Oh, now you're talking. Hmm. I'll get you another one while I'm there, shall I? Yeah, yeah, all right. Wait. Cheers. <laughs> Must say that colour suits you on. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Do you like this music? Uh, yes, yes, I do quite like it. Yeah, yes, I thought you probably did. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, Maggie. So, no hard feelings, eh? No, none whatsoever, Bob. We live in a sad world and we couldn't have a bit of a laugh every now and again. <laughs> True. <laughs> You should have seen your face there when you saw it was me. Almost pissed myself. <laughs> you really had me going there, Bob. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Steady on, Maggie. We want to make up, not throw up. <laughs> Please don't feel that you have to keep up, Bob. You know, I'm not proud of this, but I can usually drink someone twice my size under the table. Maggie, there is no one twice your size. <laughs> That's fighting talk. Cheers. 
Manage another? Yeah. Sure, I'm a professional. More away. <laughs> what should we drink to? Um, absent friends. Who? Tiger and Chipmunk. <laughs> Remarkably light on your feet for a girl your size. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You didn't mind me asking you to dance, did you? No, no, sir. One never gets anywhere in life by being a wallflower, does one? No, no, sir. To be honest, I haven't indulged in this sort of thing since I was at public school. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, right, sir, right, right. <laughs> Actually, I do it quite regularly. Do you? <laughs> It was all made up on a Thursday night. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was a bit inhibited at first, you know, but, uh, well, now I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> so where do you all meet up? At local church hall. You must have a very accommodating vicar. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's all for it. He often joins in himself. <laughs> no surprises there, eh? <laughs> so, uh, do you think anyone would object if I joined in one evening? No, no, not at all, sir. New members are always welcome. Yeah, I bet they are. I must tell you, though, sir, it can take it out of you a bit, you know, you know, if, uh, especially if you're going for some more of the uh, acrobatic stuff. <laughs> now you're talking! <laughs> Do you know, sir, the first week, I couldn't believe how stiff I was. I say, steady on, Vonnie. There's only so much strain a wool and silk mix could take. <laughs> <laughs> When you put your claws away, you're like a fluffy little pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not such a vicious old mongrel yourself, yeah. Bob. <laughs> night all! Oh, nice! Uh... <laughs> She's a little tease, that one. <laughs> to revenge. <laughs> right, you bastard. What the hell? Let's make a night of it, eh, Bob? <sighs> it's always better the second time round, anyway. Ha, ha, ha. 
Morning, lover. Maggie, what the hell is going on here? No good morning kiss for Maggie. No. <laughs> Tell me we didn't. Not you and me. Oh, yes. I've been slayed. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone finds us? It's ten to eight. Put some clothes on, woman! Ooh, you've changed your tune. You practically tore them off me last night. Honey. Honey. I don't think we should tell anyone about what's happened. It should be our little secret, don't you think? Yes, OK. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> but you know, Bob, it is bound to get out sooner or later. What do you mean, get out? <laughs> well, you know what us girls are like when we get together? Well, don't get together, then! <laughs> But, Bob, would it really be so awful if our little secret did get out? Of course it bloody would! <laughs> Remember, first and foremost, we're colleagues, and we don't want to do anything that will ruin our otherwise excellent working relationship. Of course not. <laughs> Fetch us a coffee, would you, stud muffin? Rah! <laughs> Vaughn! Vaughn, I need to talk to you! Are you alone? Yes! <laughs> quick, quick, quick! I don't want the marketing director to know that I'm here. What the hell has got into that man? Vaughan, I've done a terrible thing. He seems to have turned into a raving homosexual! <laughs> but for some reason he's got into his head that I am too! I don't know how it happened. If he tried to put his hands on my trousers once last night, he tried a thousand times! I had to duck out of the fire escape in the end! Vaughan! I slept with mm, 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 mm. <laughs> What? I slept with mm, ma, ah, ee. You slept with Mahi. Oh, the bloody hell's Mahi. Go on. I slept with Maggie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I slept with Maggie? I thought you hated each other. So did I. I can't understand what happened. You and Maggie? She took advantage of me, Vaughan. <laughs> and now she's hell-bent on telling everyone. No, 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 no. I'm sure she's not the type to kiss and tell. She's not the type to kiss at all, mate. <laughs> I've never seen her talk to anybody about her sex life. That's because up until now she hasn't had one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Maggie's knickers! Ah! Be a mate and give them back to her, will you? <laughs> you took them off, you put them back, mate! <laughs> This is distressing enough as it is. We can't have Maggie wandering around all day without any knickers on. Take your... Look, 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 look. She's not at her desk right now. Go and, you know, put, put him in a drawer or something. Where is she? I've got to find her. She could be telling anyone. I'm going to deny it. Deny everything. It's her word against mine. And you can be my alibi. And forget it, mate. It's every man for himself around here. <laughs> was highly amusing. <laughs> so we've both got the hots for you. Oh, looks like it. Would oh, you fancy him? <laughs> no, of course not. Though I can't say that I wasn't curious to see what he's made of. Yeah. So did you do anything? You must be joking. <laughs> Besides, it wasn't an option. Little Bob wasn't <laughs> up to it. <laughs> already, Bob. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you're not saying anything you might regret, Maggie. Oh, no, not that I'll regret, Bob. No, we've just been hearing all about last night. Yeah, and your seduction techniques. <laughs> Look, any of you that know me at all will realise that I'd rather snog a rabid camel than have sex with Maggie. <laughs> uh, I don't mean that in a nasty way. I just want to set the record straight, that's all. So, are you denying that we spent the night together? No. No, you were extremely drunk, but being a gentleman, I let you sleep on my sofa. 
but I can categorically state that nothing untoward happened between us whatsoever. Right. So there's no way that I could have taken this, then. What? Bob's knob. <laughs> That's not mine. Oh, really? So then you don't have a mole like that. Prove <laughs> <laughs> it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I believe these are yours. Oh, thanks, Paul. I wondered where they got to. I can't believe you did this, Maggie. What? You know damn well what. And after that appalling trick he played on you yesterday. Vaughan, I appreciate your concern, but there really is no need for you to get involved. Don't you realise what happened means nothing to someone like Bob? Oh, I think you'll find it does. <laughs> I can't believe this. Vaughan, sit down. You don't really think that I dream of sleeping with a snake like Bob, do you? What? How come you got your knickers then? I set him up. I got him so drunk last night he can't remember anything. What? So you, so you didn't? No, of course not. I just wanted to see him humiliated like I was. Oh God, I can't keep up with you two. Do you want to see a photo? <laughs> Bob's knob. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are, my little boy. I've been looking all over for you. Hello, sir. <laughs> what are you hiding from me? <laughs> nothing, 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 sir. Come on, you little tease. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. You are photogenic. <laughs> I can't wait to get better acquainted with this little fellow. No, 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 sir. You completely misunderstand. No, no, there's no need to be ashamed, dear boy. Every wrinkle's an inch, I'm sure. Excuse me, sir. Your car's waiting downstairs to take you to the hospital. Oh, damn. I promised Pinkerton I'd pop in and see him. Oh, good. Give him my best, please. Yes, sir. yes, of course. You will be here when I get back, won't you? I expect so, sir. Oh, uh, just before I go, um... We never properly say good night yesterday. Didn't we, sir? Well, good night. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, is that you? <laughs> Have you seen what this lunatic's done to me? <laughs> good night to sue for sexual harassment. You think you've got problems? I'd trade places with you in a second. How the hell am I going to explain this to Bryony? Would you put some makeup on it? I mean, me? I'm going to need plastic surgery if I'm ever to show my face around this place again. Yeah, you always assume you've got it worse, don't you? Yes, because actually I do. Thanks to megaphone Maggie, my reputation is in tatters. I've become a laughing stock. Would you stop whinging? <laughs> Quite frankly, you got exactly what you deserved. I feel so used. <laughs> so sullied. Don't be pathetic. Maggie didn't sleep with you. She'd never sleep with you. God, if you weren't such an arrogant bastard, you'd realise that. What? She tricked you. She got you so drunk that you passed out, she stripped you and took a photo down your boxer shorts, that's all. Oh. Come <laughs> on. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to give you an even bigger love bite on the other side of your neck. <laughs> Darling, come here. Mm. 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 Last night was such a blur to me. I was so drunk, I couldn't have been as good as you deserved. But tonight, I'm going to devote myself entirely to your physical pleasure. Ah. What? Pick yourself out half a dozen of your favourites. I promise you, I'm going to make each one more memorable. Than the last. <laughs> uh, you had your chance last night, Bob, and frankly, I'd rather have an early night. Oh, don't be such a spoil sport. <laughs> Hands up all those who think I should bone Maggie rigid tonight. <laughs> Come on, every vote counts. A raised hand is a raised gland. 
<laughs> Would you excuse us for a minute, please? <laughs> Looks like a quickie. Come on. <laughs> so you know, then. Yes, Maggie, I know. You've been a very devious little woman, haven't you? Yes, I suppose I have. I just wanted you to feel the pain of total and utter humiliation. Oh, well, thanks for that. Oh, don't mention it. So, are we even now? Well, I suppose so. Subject, of course, to the safe return of my penis. Ah, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I don't have that at the moment. Where is it? It's sort of doing the rounds. <laughs> what do you mean, doing the rounds? <laughs> and when I do get it back, I assure you that I will be keeping it as insurance against future reprisals. I want that photo. Bob, Maggie. word in your office, if you'd be so good. On my way, sir. Jesus, what now? Uh, Bob, better take these, just in case. <laughs> I shut the door, Bob. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've come to a very important decision, Bob. Have you, sir? I've just been to see Pinkerton at hospital. Oh, how very considerate of you, sir. <laughs> yes. Well, I went into his room and found him fast asleep. And, well, after all that teasing Vaughn did with me this morning, I was feeling rather whoa, perky, if you know what I mean. Uh, I can imagine, sir. Now, Pinky had one of these guns that opened at the back, you see, and <laughs> under the circumstances, well, it was all the encouragement I needed. I'm not quite following you there, sir. Well, I hopped up onto the bed and got stuck in, as it were. <laughs> But do you know what, Bob? I can't really say that I enjoyed it. I'm sure Pinkerton didn't either, sir. <laughs> well, that's the other weird thing, Bob. Turns out he isn't gay after all. <laughs> he must have been uh, rather shocked then, sir. He was. But not half as shocked as his wife was when she walked in. <laughs> oh, dear. Mind you, I think I got away with it. Pretended I was taking his temperature. <laughs> I told her I was a homeopathic doctor. <laughs> Inspired, sir. Well, thank you, Bob. But you know, when all is said and done, the only conclusion one can draw is that I am not a homosexual. Oh. Shares in Vaseline will be plummeting as we speak, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be held, Bob. Oh, uh, Vaughan gave you this earlier. Did he, sir? You might return it to him, Bob. <laughs> Dirty little poofter. <laughs> Of course, sir. <laughs> ah, look what I've got, Maggie. Looks like your insurance policy has just expired. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, old friend. Stay with Nine now as the co-creator of the hit series Seinfeld. His name is Larry David. Larry plays himself in the comedy Curb Your Enthusiasm.